I'm Taylor, uh, creator of Gemini CLI. Two and a half months ago, we open sourced this on GitHub. Since then, we've had thousands of feature requests and people helping us build this every single day. Um, it's been very overwhelming and absolutely amazing at the same time. So for today's demo, we thought, let's build a feature for it live on stage. And the feature we thought that would be cool is, what if we could enable us to talk to Gemini CLI? So to do that, we're going to walk you through every step of the flow that we take. So we're going to hop over to our terminal. And this is Gemini CLI. And we're going to go ahead and first put on our marketing hat. Because we like to make sure every single feature that we built is something that's desired in the community. So let's start off by doing some market research to figure out what other audio-based experiences exist for AI CLI agents. Immediately, it kicks off three Google searches in parallel. These kick off more things behind the scenes. But the goal is that it's going to go ahead and search the web to pull all this information together, take all that information, and then we've actually asked it to create a Google Doc for what it thinks would be a good marketing research report. Now, this will take some time, so we're going to let this cook. Next, what we do is we use our project manager mindset. So let's put that hat on. And we also like to make sure that given we have so many issues and features coming in from people, we want to build things that someone has asked for. So we'll see. I want to see if there are any GitHub issues related to audio. Immediately, Gemini CLI uses a local command line tool for GitHub on my box to look through our thousands of issues in order to find what makes sense. In this case, it looks like it found issue 1982. Um, let's dive a little deeper here. And it looks like this one in particular has um, a decent description. It looks by, like it's by an external contributor. Has some nice labels. Ultimately, this looks like a really decent issue to start with. So let's go ahead and next step here is we're going to go ahead and we're going to implement it. So we're going to put on our software developer hat here. So we're going to say add audio modality with real-time translation using Google Cloud speech to text. And again, it's going to use the pieces that are on my box in order to accomplish this task. So it's trying to install some dependencies to add this feature to itself, which is pretty cool. One of the things that we've tried to do is, as you can probably tell, it's a very rich experience. It's a lot more than your basic command line interface, CLI. Um, we try to make it so things like writing a file is colorized. This should feel super natural for other applications and experiences that you've had. So I'm going to go ahead and say allow all, which means it's going to keep writing files on my behalf. And I can always take back control whenever I want to by typing shift tab. So as this is going, we do this flow a lot where we'll start tasks, and then we will go ahead and quickly pivot and start another task. Because for us, one of the things the team believes is it's super easy to 10x yourself these days. But it's really, really hard to 100x. And that's when you start getting into all these parallel sort of activities. And for our sake, being able to put on all these hats and try things out is a big part of that. So here, if we jump back to the terminal, if we look at what's happening, it's editing a lot of the code that I have locally. It's able to dig through the code base just like I would, and it's able to take all this information to come up with an ideal solution to the request that I've made. And of course, giving us a little insight along the way. Uh, it looks like it's actually just finished. It's trying to build some of, our, some of our code. And one of the beauties of this is because it's a terminal command line application, when things go wrong, it can react. So in the case of if it's just written all this code on our behalf, if it happens to make a mistake, because LLMs make a mistake, it looks like it just found one, um, it can react. And it can go ahead and go forward with it. So here, it's making a fix for that. And then it's going to go back to building. So as this is going, it looks like it's building. This will probably finish in just a second. It looks like it succeeded. Let's hop back over to our marketing research report. Because remember, we're letting that cook in the background. So for this one, uh, it looks like we actually have a report. Um, and it's trying to use an MCP server. MCP server is Model Context Protocol. It allows us to extend Gemini CLI with a lot more capability. Um, we're going to say, go ahead and create this. So this is going to take all this, this it looks like it pasted some of the market research report up here. And it's going to create a Word document for us on our behalf. So I'll go here. I'll go ahead and click Open for this. I'll copy this. And then let's go back over to our terminal here. And we now have, I'll zoom in a little bit, 
a market research report from all that work it just did on our behalf. It says audio input and CLI application is rapidly advancing, moving beyond this. Um, these innovations are largely driven. It sounds like it's a good idea. Amazing. We're grounded in a good state. So, okay. So the next piece of this puzzle is we now had our stuff building. We have our market research report done. Let's use this feature. So I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to say npm run start. So for this one, this is trying to use the code that we just wrote in order to adjust Gemini CLI to see what it's like. And it looked like it added a, a gesture with control B. So I'm going to now talk to this. So here we go. I'm going to hit control B. Can you create a post about the audio modality feature that you added and information from the marketing research report from? So? Let's go ahead and copy this marketing research report, because of course, I want to weave together all this information, another beautiful thing about having a command line interface. And we're going to see if it's able to create a post for us on our behalf. So immediately, it's using this information to pull the Word document, get information together, and it looks like it created a nice little tweak. And it's even trying to post it for us. Uh, this is amazing. Um, but I'm in control. This isn't quite what I was looking for. So I'm actually going to hit Escape to cancel that and say, uh, make it witty and a tad viral. Because you know, when we post about things, we want to make sure they really resonate with our audience, right? So here we go. Tired of typing? Gemini CLI just got a voice upgrade. Hit Control B and talk your way through tasks. So in this situation, I'll go here, and it looks like we have a live tweet. So everyone, that's Gemini CLI creating its own feature.